Hello everyone, Bill Parrish here with GTT Audio and welcome to the channel today. Today I have special guest Aris, owner of TLA and Manos, head engineer over there at TLA and, uh, and yes, the last time you saw these guys was uh, through my, uh, my Munich coverage last year. Yes. But Aris, you're back in New Jersey. The first time you were here, yeah. When we uh, when we introduced TLA to the uh, to the U.S., it, uh, you appeared on the channel, and I just can't take this uh, miss this opportunity to have you here. Yeah. So uh, so welcome. Thank you very much that you are having us here, and uh, we want to say hello to your audience and to your uh, people that they are following your channel. And yeah. Well, nice good. to be here, Bill. Thank, Thank you, Manos. Thank you very much, and uh, hello to all our friends out there. Guys, we've been listening for a few days this week, and I've just, again, I, I mean, I get to live with this gear all the time, but to just have it in and take the time and listen with these artisans uh, who created these, uh, these beauties is just it's a, it's a it's a treat. It's a treat. Very good. And um, and you know I'm embarrassed to say I probably haven't listened to this integrated as much as I have this week. You know things in this room are always getting swapped in and out. I'm doing shipping and receiving and doing sales and talking and doing accounting and running around for installs and bouncing around here or there and so you know to be able to just sit and listen uh, for a week has just been absolutely incredible and this amplifier this integrated which I don't think we've really talked enough about uh, on the channel uh, is, is Phenomenal. I can't tell you how great it is. I mean, we sat there and played, uh, you know, uh, Sabbath's uh, War Dogs, and I mean, the punch and the slam, but you know, this is a massive amplifier, so you kind of expect that. But then we follow it up with Kathleen Battle on her Grace album, yes. uh, recorded in uh, Riverside Church. And we just start laughing. Yeah, amazing. And that, it is so delicate, but yet, you hear the hall, you hear the subway in New York, you just, you hear our room here pressurized the way Riverside Church is. This literally transported us to the event. Yes. Yes. What's what's some of the magic that you do? I mean, I know it's a hybrid, and you do hybrids different. We've covered that. I've done that with the audio analyst, Greg Weaver, which you also visited yes. this week. Yeah. And his video is going to come out before this video. <laughs> so, you know, but and we've talked about how you do things differently. You know, you're using mo uh, you're using bipolars instead of MOSFETs, and usually, always when there's a hybrid, it's a MOSFET involved. Mm -hmm. So you do this differently. But you know, I don't know. To what 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 are you doing that just makes things so ma magical? Either Aris or Manos or both of us. I, I, I can I, I can start uh, just telling you that everything it starts the heart of our amplifiers is the transformers. Yes. Yeah. My well, grandfather started that part of the business. Yes, yes, yes. so we know very good uh, our uh, transformers. We know how to develop for its uh, design. And uh, it's a lot of things that they are running differently from other manufacturers. That's why you are having this result. But you can see how big this, tra this transformer is just for the bipolar section, for the solid state, state section yeah. of the amplifier. So I will give the word to Manos that he can uh, tell you more things. As Aris already said, this is a hybrid design. Uh, that means it uh, has both tube sections and uh, solid state sections. A uh, simplified, let's say, block diagram would be a tube preamplifier class A without uh, any feedback, followed by a solid state part 
a power amplifier with a bipolar transistors. We use TLA's in-house wounded, uh, winded transformers uh, to make uh, separate power supplies for the uh, solid state section and the tube section. Uh, that would be a simplified block diagram of this uh, amplifier. Of course, the details are that matter uh, more and more because of the details. Um, going into a hybrid design, there are a lot of ways uh, to make an, an integrated uh, amplifier. We try to keep our minds open and, most importantly, our ears open. Uh, because you mentioned MOSFETs, yes, MOSFETs, bipolars, tubes, all are available. Mm -hmm. uh, different types of um, uh, capacitors, uh, resistors, there are a lot of components. Uh, as we see it, each component, it is very important, but is a part of a greater, let's say, design that must sure. must uh, follow. Serve. Say. Yes, must serve, exactly. So we keep our uh, minds open, we keep our ears open. We, Aris has a, a, a very, big, very big experience in this field. Uh, we all love music, the TLA team, let's say. Mm -hmm. The engineers, the people are working, everybody loves music in there. So at the end of the day, we design it and build it so it is satisfy our needs. We don't um, propose to audiophile something that uh, we wouldn't have in our house I understand uh, uh, playing music. So this is a, uh, probably a simplified uh, explanation that covers most of our uh, mentality. Yeah, well, I, I think you nailed it, you know, and just, and when you talk about uh, transformers, you're talking about power supplies, and, and I remember in the late 90s, early 2000s, selling a line of D to A converters, and they had three different models. I mean, there was, you know, I don't know, call it a 10K, a 20K, and a 30K model. And the DAC section, the, the electronics, the analog output stage on all three of them were 100% identical. The only thing different was the power supply in each one. Okay. And, 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 and when you listen to them, it was massively different. Yeah. So, you know, I've heard other people say power supplies everything. Well, you guys are the power supply man. <laughs> Thank I think, you. I think by looking inside and looking at all these transformers, it is clear that we are in favor of linear power supply. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, no, no switch mode in here. That's Never. Sure. I mean, you guys, I, I showed it uh, at the Munich video, and if you missed it, go back and watch it. This thing is this big. I mean, this... Uh, the, the 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 transformer that's in there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's really another another friend of us, if we could if we can say, is using our transformers in the power supplies is Kronos. Oh yes, Kronos. Yeah, you're you're you know, I I've, I've already touched on the channel that Louis is uh, coming out with a new reference phono stage uh, that uh, it'll be introduced at Munich and then it will start shipping in July or August. But uh, but that's all done in conjunction with you guys, yes. and you guys build the build the power supplies. You guys do the boards with Louie. It's co-design between. It's cooperation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a complete collaboration. Yes. With Kronos and Louis, TLA. Yeah. Louis had a very clear vision that he could uh, explain to us in detail what exactly he wants for the electronics. Right. So we work closely together. Sure. And uh, I strongly believe that uh, audiophiles will really love this new Kronos product. Well, I heard the prototype, and I haven't heard a phono stage in it's in that class before. <laughs> yeah, Thanks. yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it was last August. I was up at uh, Kronos and told you guys about it. Uh, at that point in time, it was just the power supply that was done. Yes. Then I was up there in January, a month and a half ago, and I uh, got to listen to it uh, with, with the new, you know, the head unit or the yeah, front yeah. end, and uh, yeah, yeah, it was special. And some people had asked, oh, it would have been nice to see a photo, and 
and I agree, but uh, you know, we had a tin foil top and a wood box and yes. you know, all the all this stuff comes in stages and when especially when you're hearing uh, prototypes and uh, yeah, so the yeah. which it wasn't in a finished chassis and yeah. that's why, you know, sometimes you don't see photos. And sometimes as you're at it there, I'm just lazy and, uh, <laughs> you know. You just want to enjoy it. I, I, well, it's about, you know, just about talking about the product and, you know, and go, go you know, you got to do some work yourselves as well. Yes. And go, go look it up. But, uh, but that, but this new one, there are no photos yet because the chassis aren't done yet. Yes. Yeah. They are in the process. But talk about chassis. <laughs> I mean, you know. And listen, we're pointing here, we're in this room, we listen to the SSP, uh, two, two chassis, all tube uh, uh, preamplifier, we listen to the SSA, the Supreme Series uh, mono amplifiers, I mean there was some stuff going on there that could have brought tears to our eyes. Yes. It's almost like that milkshake mono. <laughs> <laughs> Oh in, in, inside joke, <laughs> but a chassis. Look at the size of this thing, and yet, I mean, there's, there's. You've done some special things inside the chassis as well. Yes, yes. They are um, phenolic materials inside. They are uh, in between materials, other materials uh, for the vibration yeah, control. Yeah, a, a lot of resonance control yes. is going on in here. That we have. Um, Louis have uh, we have learned a lot from the technology of Kronos, and we have uh, implemented also in our sassy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, in fact, uh, in fact, uh, I might as well say it now. Show you that, uh, that we're we're having three rooms uh, at uh, Expona this year, and one of the rooms will have a mola mola tambaki. We'll have. Kabbalah Sosna cables. We'll have this amplifier, which is the. Uh, what do you actually call it? It's the True Series TSI. Yeah, TSI, yes. Yes, so 300. It's 300. Is the True Series. It should not be True Series. It should be Supreme Series, but that's an inside discussion. <laughs> okay. It is this. Well, it's a True Series Supreme. Yeah. It's a TSIS. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. which is a supreme. So, but then uh, driving, and this is actually going to be in the what what is officially the Kabbalah Sosna room, and we're shared partners in there with these uh, Vivid Audio uh, G3 uh, S2s, the G3 S2s, and of course the in the Kabbalah will have the expander and 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 but this system, and this system is killer. And the system does not break the bank. So I highly recommend at Expona, if you're watching this and you're going to Expona, that you, uh, you check out this system and check out this, uh, this uh, TLA, TSI Supreme Integrated Amp. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay, hello. Here we are over at Kabbalah Sosna Research's uh, headquarters. And we wanted to pop over here and show you Joe's system. Yeah, this place, by the way, we call it headquarters, essentially our sales office. We have two facilities that are manufacturing our cables, but this is where the design and the prototyping and, and the, this customer support happens. So welcome to Kabbalah Sasna in East Hanover, New Jersey. Joe, thank you for having us in this morning. Not a problem. It's... I can't think of a better way to spend Sunday morning than with friends. Well, thank you. Uh, you know what, we, we just wanted to uh, bring Aris and Manos around to hear and see some of their work and, and uh, systems that, are, uh, that they're featured in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very nice. And thank you, Joe, that you are having us here in your nice factory. We see how you, nicely you are making your cables and you have set up a wonderful system. That is, we can. We are very proud that we are with you, and uh, yeah, your cables are fantastic, amazing, and our uh, amplifiers are sounding uh, as we want to to sound. You know, yes, in here, inside yes, here. Yes, in the context of the system, they're really singing, aren't they? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Well, thank you for the kind comments, but you know, it's important for us to have a system that we can depend upon to to truly analyze 
things that we're you know testing prototyping etc and we're very very happy with the combination of the spirits the vivid spirits the TLA monos and we have a, a TLA preamp in the system and this system right now happens there's different cables in here at different times but right now is all realization so thank you for the kind comments well it's sounding spectacular this morning thank you yeah really really sweet Manos Joe thank you for having us here Welcome. it is really great to see our equipment along with your cables in a really beautiful setup the sound is amazing thank you, you sir you did a great job the heart of the system <laughs> yeah you guys you guys you know last week we dropped the video on the integrated really I think that was the first time it was featured in a video outside of that uh, Munich one uh, yes. almost a year ago yeah. ten, 10 months ago um, and the the SSPs have been on I know this morning um, a video just dropped with the audio analysts. You were out there yes. a few days ago and sat down with Greg. Uh, and we haven't even had a chance to watch that yet. <laughs> but, uh, you know, here we are with these. Th these are reference amplifiers by any and all standards. You know, and like you said, Joe, that's why you chose them. And it's, it's, it's sound that you can depend on. And, well, they're, they're very lifelike extremely natural and uh, and we know that about the vivids as well and so the and, and obviously your cables I mean you know and you've got realization in here and my god it's they're they're singing they're singing this morning that's for sure so uh, yeah I just wanted to uh, to give everyone a little insight uh, be able to see Joe and at his uh, reference system here and you know, we, we brought Aris and Manas over to hear it. So, guys, unless you guys have anything else to add? Uh, everything is, uh, no, you covered us. You okay. covered us. Awesome. Well, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye, ciao, guys. Ciao. Bye, guys.